we'll have to decide the theoretical principles before we design a writing course before we plan a writing course we'll make we'll have to make clear um to the textbook writers which theoretical strand we want to stick to and by making it clear to the textbooks writers uh eventually that will lead the teachers to know which aspect of the theory they want to stick to so deciding on theoretical principles requires number of decisions so what the research suggests that ideology plays an important role in terms of shaping our presence in the classroom uh, remembering my own experiences of language teaching before doing mat sol um from the uk i must say that i was a teacher centered teacher who was much focused on i had much focus on lecture and i didn't treat students i just treated them used to treat them like homogeneous group without having diverse needs so whether we accept or don't accept there is some ideology which is working behind our pedagogy which is working behind our actual presence in the classroom so whether we are conscious or not conscious i have talked to number of teachers from my own personal point of view and this is what the research also supports my contention that some esl teachers or efl teachers or english language teachers they say they don't take they don't care about the theory they are more about much focused on the classroom what they have to do is the classroom the practice and the use of different methods no matter if they don't accept but there is what the research suggests there is some theory which works behind for example looking at the textbooks prescribed by punjab textbook board or other boards in in the pakistani context the theory the theory behind those textbooks is the use of uh, interactionism and socioculturalism because these textbooks require teachers teach the language by the use of communicative and task based language teaching or even eclectic methodology so what i would like to encourage through this, this this discussion is as language teachers you will have to understand your positionality your ideological position and your perceptions by perceptions i mean your beliefs your cognitions as a teacher as a language teacher i have seen and this is what again much tsol and applied linguistics research suggests that some teachers have dangerous beliefs and perceptions about teaching they consider themselves perfect and they don't allow peer work or group work which is fair enough but on the other hand we'll have to stick to the theoretical aspect given by socio culturalism by goskis ideas scaffolding how we can make our students understand the language and write effectively and this is also important to know like what english and what types of writing we teach we want to teach whether we would like to teach through grammar translation which refers to behaviorism whether we want them to write see writing as a process which refers to interactionism and socio culturalism what content our students are exposed to again these our beliefs will shape our choices decisions like some teachers don't go beyond the confines of textbooks because their beliefs are only limited to the usefulness of the textbooks but some expose their students 
uh, to authentic content like raw materials like websites like newspapers talk shows dramas and movies so what we expect our students to do with writing whether we want them to write put in into the bottle and throw them into the deep water not sending us back the ripples or we want them to publish or we want them to showcase which is interesting which is encouraging what roles our instruction prepare them for whether we want them to acquire both accuracy and fluency so these these are important decisions related to the ideology held by language teachers and through this through this discussion i would like you to encourage to explore your ideology as language teachers to see your perceptions to see your cognitions and beliefs so there are of course a number of theories chiefly speaking behaviorism um cognitivism interactionism social culturalism and then communities of practice and lit, uh, academic literacy approach so these actually the knowledge of these theories which we will discuss in the coming module shape our understanding of the language and the way our understanding is shaped in this way our practice will be reshaped in the classroom so what i want to say is we as language teachers have to understand the role of theory and its relationship with practice with our presence in the classroom and that will allow us to see whether we want our focus on focus on grammar or meaning or fluency so i would like you to encourage to see the art of teaching as a sort of eclectic approach where to adopt those principles which work for your situational context so while you are doing uh, while we are while you are teaching writing in the classroom think of the activities why you are doing why you are not doing that activity why you have included that activity on that topic why not the other topic so these are the questions which are very much related to the ideological position which we will have to explore to become effective language teachers